Howdy guys, welcome to a new video of Craft of Survival Immortal. How are we doing? Hope you guys are well. So this has been quite a long time since I've done one of these, so brand new game. So I wanted to check out Craft of Survival. I've been meaning to do that for quite some time and I figured, you know what, better late than never, let's dive into it. So what I have done is I sort of had a quick look around um, in terms of, you know, different races and things like that that you can actually um, start off with and i've already chosen my uh my player's appearance and uh the passive skill so we're going to get down and create the actual the player abandoned us centuries and millennia passed while we waited in vain for their return we became monsters in their absence we have built the greatest empire but we have forgotten the prophet's confidence we handed our sanctums over to headsmen and butchers. We sealed fates with no right to do so. And when the ground turned red with rivers of spilled blood, the world shattered under the weight of our sins, and the dead rose from their graves. Prophet, spare our souls. But there is more to this world's story yet. As for yours, it starts with this. It's not the best way to start. <laughs> well, there you go, rebirth. Interesting. Interesting. Didn't know there was going to be a bit of a cut scene at the beginning, but that's okay. We um, will make do with what we can. Um, all right, so it looks like we're going to talk with this person over here. Is there anything else that I can pick up from here before we get... Oh, no, hang on. So we didn't have to try it. Okay. Took him out in one hit. All right, let's speak to this um gal over here mysterious lady look the door is open this is our chance see the body of the guard in the corridor get his weapons and armor he won't need them anymore i'll hide here as i can't cast magic without my staff and i'd only get in your way we'll meet outside to go to the castle okay so it looks like we have to um, break ourselves out of here so it's going to go ahead and tap so i guess this is pretty much like a little tutorial if anything um, so my dude appears to have been um, equipped. Let's have a quick look. So this is sort of the interface that we've got here. Um, pretty much all standard for a lot of other survival mobile based games. Um, we've got some uh, food and water. And this looks like this is our crafting um, section here. So um, we'll get into that a little bit later, but I figured I just thought I'd quickly show you. Um, and then you've got decorations at the bottom there, buildings, tools, armor and weapons if you sort of want to go through uh that sort of stuff and then i think you've got the christmas stuff up here which doesn't look like they've um updated the game to to move on away from the christmas time unless this is a permanent thing that i'm not too sure of but at the time of this recording path is blocked okay um actually i wanted to quickly okay so it's telling us to run something truly terrible is happening in this dungeon uh, but the path to freedom is open and we just need to find a way to get out. Okay, cool. So that's just telling us um, yeah, we can sort of get out of here. I wanted to sort of read this. Can I apply? Notification read, guardsman letter. Okay, so sister, I did it. Uh, you were right three times over when you told me that I can... Uh, sorry, told me that I had no future in uh, Crayon's gang. So a couple of the lads and I had a think about it and went over to some um uh brainiacs okay uh the the work's easy enough watch the prisoners check the locks on the cages with the undead what could go wrong and that's just chapter one of one now i can't really change that to the next chapter because we obviously haven't got that parchment yet but that's okay so can we talk to her again no so we have to continue our way and clear the way Alright, so there's three enemies here. They're all coming at me, so let's see if we can just do that. Okay, that's cool. It's a little bit of a different um, uh, battle mechanic, I guess. Let's take the water skin. Alright, let's, let's see if we can creep up on this guy and just take him out. Oh, there we go. Ooh, there we go. Just before he did his major attack, let's take the buckle. The buckler. Uh, what sort of monster do you have to be to do something like this? Okay. Let's see what we can pick up from here. Okay. Let's see what's in here. Okay, worn ring. 
What else do we have? A skull. Alright, let's just take that. Why not? Sorry, friend, but you'll have to stay here. Okay. I'm guessing there's someone in there. Uh, laboratory journal. Okay, so let's go ahead and read that. Okay, so this is chapter 2 of 2. Okay, so subject 66 shows signs of active mutation, muscle mass growth, reinforcement of the bone structure, and dermal coverage uh, can be observed. Reacts aggressively to all uh, irritants. Irritants? Irritants. Subject 148 shows no sign of mutation, even though its physical body was put to death twice already over the course of the experiment. The subject returned to life with the retention of all uh, cognitive uh, functions. The only deviation is full or partial memory loss, continuing observation in a controlled environment. Subject 157 was destroyed as a result of threatening the life of Master. Now we don't know the actual name, but that's fine. So I'm guessing that's two out of um, two out of two. Now we've cleared the path. Let's see if we can go back to our lady over here. Well done, run on ahead, we'll meet outside, okay? So it looks like we're heading outside, guys. So let me know in the comments if you guys have actually been playing or are actively playing Craft of Survival because I wanna make sure that um, I'm getting, I guess, the best possible start, but also other people that are wanting to play the game to get the best possible start as well. So if you guys got any tips or tricks or anything like that, drop them in the comments section and at least this way people will um, get to know the game a little bit better and hopefully be a little bit more prepared as well at the same time. So they'll enjoy their gameplay themselves. Um, but just on that subject, make sure you guys, if you guys are enjoying this video, make sure you hit the like, obviously comment down below. But more importantly, if you want to see more, let me know by hitting subscribe and hitting that not notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any future video. And if you do really want to see, uh, see me make more videos, let me know in the comments. So... Let's go back to the mysterious lady here. Now, I think we're here, and this is the castle we need. Did anyone pursue us? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Otherwise, we would have been caught long ago. I'll never go back to that horrible dungeon. Ah, it makes my skin crawl. Our woes aren't over yet. Look, the castle's entrance is blocked by rubble. Look out, wolves. All right, so it looks like we're going to have to take out these wolves. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, let's go back to the mysterious lady. They're so huge, thanks for the help. I couldn't have dealt them with myself. Uh, are you wounded? Yes, a few scratches, I'll live. Here, take this cloth, make a healing bandage. It'll come in handy. Let's go ahead and take that. Gather some sun leaf too. Look, it's growing, growing Sorry, by the lamp post over there. So it looks like we're gonna have to grab that and then we go into our crafting menu and we create ourselves a bandage. Fantastic. Okay, so I'm guessing this is where our homestead is going to be. So home base of operations. So if we really want to take out some of these guys here, we can definitely go ahead and do that. Doesn't look like they've dropped anything for us, unfortunately. Um, looks like we've got a diary that we've picked up, which is cool. So we can definitely go ahead around and I guess clean out any of these wolves and other animals. So that way we don't have to really worry about them as we sort of come and go as we please kind of deal. But otherwise, I'm really liking the um, the way that the, the mechanics of the game sort of works out. Now, there's a few enemies over here. Actually, there's another little scroll. So let's go ahead and pick that up. And can we do the sneaky deek? Well, well not really, but we've taken them all out anyway without any problems. So, so that was a quest that we actually just finished off. So that's cool. So let's go back to that mysterious lady figure and let's see what she has to say how are things going i've got a bandage it wasn't that difficult excellent i think you'll be fine it'll get dark soon and we don't have a fire start a campfire for us please all right so this girl just wants to order us around and tells us to do things here and there um okay so do you want to go through the building tutorial if you guys want when you guys are starting off in the game Definitely go ahead and do that. I think I'm going to go ahead and skip that. Um, and as you can see here, this is our our base of operations here. Now we've got the 
We can make a carpenter's workshop straight off the bat. I don't know if we can drop that in there actually. So I guess wherever, wherever there is green, we can drop it in. Obviously in this case, there's a lot of red here, so we can't really do much about that. And yeah, you can't really do much anything about that there. But if I really wanted to, I can pop that there, I guess. But I think for now, I think I might just pop it. Can I pop it over here? Why not? I'll pop that there. And then we can build ourselves a residential house, but we're going to need some resources first before we sort of get to do that. Um, so let's go ahead and do the campfire. So we shall create that. Telling us to go back into here, build. And I'm guessing I just want to sort of build it somewhere in town so that way it's at my disposal. Probably here might be a good spot. Okay. And you can do upgrades as well. And this is what it needs for the upgrade if you really want to go to level two. A level two castle is a, uh, must be built in order for us to do that. So can't really do that yet until that really happens. Um, so we're going back to the mysterious lady. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, it's a bit too quiet here. I don't like it. The campfire is lit, so we should cook something on it now. Um, okay, so you're a mind reader. Do you reckon we'll find something edible here? Uh, I'll look for mushrooms. There are mushrooms growing here. We can fry them. Great idea. Okay, so not the most, um, I guess, a thrilling start to the game, but at least this way you guys sort of get a bit of an idea on, you know, what to sort of do. And if you guys have noticed anything that I may have done that I shouldn't have done or I could have have done in the first place, let me know. So at least this way, at least others will sort of um, uh, get that, I guess, understanding before they sort of start the game. I guess, but at least this way, they're in the know, I'm in the know, and I guess that's it, really. Let's go ahead and pick up that. Some more mushrooms over here, so we may as well go pick them all up. So I've got the little, um, I've got the little castle um, flashing, and it's asked me to tap on it, so I will do that. I do want to um, pop the mushrooms in here. It's asking for some. Uh, okay, so it's asking for some uh, wood, so we'll need some fuel. Uh, this here tells us what we can cook for the moment, and then obviously from here, level two, so on and so forth. So once we sort of do that um, and get the upgrade done, then we can ov obviously cook other things So as we sort of go along. So I'm assuming that higher the level, the greater the food, the better the, um, the healing, all that sort of stuff. So, so let's go create. We can go take. And then we can go back to the lady over here. Okay, I was just thinking, why is it that when the council sends us off on quests, everything goes wrong first? There were the cells, then those uh, frenzies, uh, adreshi, uh, fanatics. It was horrible, remember. Uh, sorry, but no, I don't. Uh, no, I don't remember. The only torture, our escape, and some muddled images. I don't even know your name. Memory loss, hmm. They always brought you back to the cell unconscious. Uh, what is it they did to you there? Uh, it's all right. Let's start with the simple stuff. I am Izun uh, Daenery, an academy mage and your, well, my partner. Okay. We have yet another quest from the council. Okay, well, let's get to it. So I'm guessing you can ask other questions as well if you really wanted to. So I'm assuming there's um, other things that you can ask or you might be able to do some side questing or something like that. It'll take a long time to clear this rubble at the castle entrance without the appropriate tools. Then we need to prepare properly, which means that we need to establish a camp here. Go down the road from the castle and you'll reach uh, Vulpin Grove. Uh, you can chop down some trees for logs there as they're sure to come in handy. Just don't forget to make yourself a bag. Okay. Let's see if we can actually make a bag first. Is that doable? Yes, it is. I'm guessing that's the first thing I really wanted to do before anything happened. Um, so we've got that additional bag. So that is here. Cool. And then we've got a few things that we've got. A couple of parchments there. So we can always go back and read those as well. If you guys want to read them, you can. And then we've got that. So that was page five. And then we've got page two. Okay, so not an order, but at least we've got it done. 
And can I see what's in here? Anything that I can interact with? Doesn't look like it. Uh, Stonemason's workbench, so it looks like we've got to build or repair that, if you will, before we can actually start using it. Um, so we've got a warehouse upgrade, that's what we're going to need to upgrade. But I'm guessing we can drop things off here, so I might as well keep those two on me. And then in here, so we've got a broken bed, and then we've got, oh okay, so we can actually change our appearance and everything like that as we go along. So that's interesting. And then we've got the medium chest. So, okay, so there's two storage chests. So we've got the small one and then we've got the big one over here. Um, all right, so it's obviously telling us to exit. So let's just go ahead and do that. So if you guys haven't watched any of my videos before, um, especially when I'm playing a brand new game, I sort of like to play it as if I'm playing it with you guys. So basically from the start, um, as time sort of gets on, obviously we can, you know, I can sort of tail off and do some bits and pieces for myself, but sort of getting up and running with the game, um, I do sort of like to, you know, walk you guys uh, through pretty much, you know, at least the the first part of the game and then that way we can, um, we can sort of carry on and, you know, and as I said, do our own thing. So I can see we've got a, um, an enemy just up ahead that's sort of patrolling so there are moving zombies, or I guess moving enemies, so to speak. I'm not too sure if they are zombies, if, if anything, but anyway. Taking him out. There's a deer here. Wouldn't mind taking him out. See if we can get some food. Yes. Okay, so let's just take all. And we've got some roaming. Fair enough. Roaming enemies. So it's telling us that we do need to take... Um, sorry, we do need to... Get some wood, okay. So make a stone axe, find a way to get to uh, find a way to get into the castle, uh, finish building the stone masons, uh, workbench, and then the carpenter's workbench. So there's a couple of things that we do need to do. So if I pick up one more log, it should enable me to make a stone axe. Great. So there is a ton of enemies here, okay. That guy was just, I guess he was, um, he was very less fortunate. But we have really maximized our, um, our storage capabilities here at the moment, so um, I guess not the best of starts with that, but that's okay. At least this way we can, um, I can sort of chop a few bits and pieces down, uh, wood down, and uh, at least we can sort of go back, and then I guess we can go come back to uh, this zone if we really need to. Can I pick this up? Yes, I can. If we do auto, then you've got the auto feature here. And at least he sort of does these little bits and pieces as he's running about. Okay. Okay, so let's just stop the auto for a sec. So nearly got a full stack of wood. I do just want to take down one more tree before we sort of continue on. Okay, so only two logs. So near enough a full stack. I think there was a, a log or two lying around here somewhere. There we go. All right, so there goes our full stack. So that's basically what they were after. Here comes a enemy. Here comes a few more enemies. So, and this guy just spits stuff out. That's pretty full on. Um, I don't know what this is. Cones. All right, so let's quickly get out of here because I think I was getting damage infliction. Let's take the hide. Um, so I guess you sort of have to avoid the spew zone if anything and um, sort of stay away until the um, I guess the the acid or the acidity of, of that um, sort of disappears and then you can sort of do your loots and things like that Let's go ahead and take this guy down now there's a few more of these guys coming up after me they do come in their little droves there so yeah like I said if you just get it out of their way and then you can see all that red spew there sort of just make sure that you're not in a um, you know, in that in their uh, sort of firing zone, so just get out of the way, and you should have enough time to do that. Anyway, I sort of that was it. Uh, that door there was interesting. So it looks like a well that we've come down to here. I don't know what's down here, but let's go ahead and see what is what. Okay, so far not too bad. Can't take the cloth because 
storage limitation reasons. Let's go ahead and see what's in here. Uh, okay, bones and skulls. Looks like I won't be able to take any of that. Doesn't appear I can go any further than what I've just discovered, so that's fine. And that was just a cloth there, so that's fine. So we can continue on. And we can keep on moving. Okay, so unfortunately I don't have the means to take everything. But what I can do is I can probably just open up most of these chests here to see what is in here. And then I can sort of take what I can, uh, which is not much. <laughs> and what, what is that? Sorry. Uh, lady figurine. I don't know what that lady figurine is, but... I don't know if it's important or, or anything like that. So I guess you, if you guys um, that are playing this game, let me know what is and what isn't important uh, to take. Um, does it take, you know, multiple trips uh, in order for you to get what you need kind of thing? But let me know in the comments. So there's a whole lot of enemies here. I do probably just want to avoid these guys. So I guess let's head back because there's really not much else for me to do here. So I'll go ahead and do that. We'll head back to home base. Okay, so the castle. So while we're here, let's have a quick look at the over map here. So we, we basically start here. I can't zoom in or out, unfortunately, by the looks of things. So I'm just going to have to scroll around. So that's the edge of the map. Okay, there's these estate ruins. Um, I can actually run there if I really wanted to, but let's not do that right now. Looks like it's, um, this map is on a table, which is kind of neat, so it looks pretty cool. Got the ash grove over here, the uh, uh, Gerda's Swan Mill, uh, Cursed Forest. Some of these names sound very familiar to other games, which I'm not going to sort of name and get into, but um, if you guys know, you guys know. Um, what else we got? Howling Caves, uh, Mayolt's Mines, Blunt, uh, Bloodstained Mountain, sorry. Uh, Cave of Madness, that sounds full on there you go that's pretty intense by all the skulls that you can see there um, and then you've got a little volcanic or um, canyon style area ruined church uh, and you've got that nice little compass over there so that looks like that's pretty much it you've got the arena here so we'll be coming available in updates soon so that's all good I'm gonna go ahead and run back home but I'll just give you a quick overview of the actual over map there so you guys know what's uh what's out there of course uh entering at your own risk in some of those zones I, I don't think i need to tell you guys twice but all good on that front okay so what i might do is i think i might just drop this armor that i picked up here um in my inventory because i'm definitely not going to need it and this is a club that i've got here okay you know what I'm going to switch to the club and save that sword because I'm, I'm guessing I'm probably going to need it further down the line, if anything. Uh, extra bag, so I'll leave that there. And then um, what I might do is I'll drop some of these things in here. That's not necessary right now. I'll keep the axe with me. Very good. So let's go ahead and talk to her. So I have the logs. Oh, okay, so you've got all these bits and pieces here. So if we go, let's talk about us. Uh, listen, uh, it's let's not overcomplicate things now. We've got enough trouble as it is. We've spent many great nights together, but I really have other things to think about now. Wow, okay. Looks like we got shot down pretty hard, guys. Um, are you here? I looked around the area while you were away. Something definitely happened to the expedition here. But we'll talk about that later. How did the gathering go? I had to fight off the undead uh, at the grove, but I've got some logs with me. I am all right, by the way. Thanks for asking. Sorry, I haven't been myself lately. I would have never even got here without your help. You probably don't remember this either. The dead began to rise several months ago when the uh, sundering began. Can you imagine it's what started uh, to happen? It wasn't just the cities fell into ruin, but they have also been taken over by the living dead. A real end of the world. Thankfully, Ferrers turned out to be far from the... Uh, I don't even know what that word is. Uh, epic center, the epic center, epicenter, epicenter. There you go. Uh, it did not suffer as much as the other provinces. Speaking of help, we need to take care of somewhere to sleep. If we're going to be here for a while, please prepare the bed. 
All right, so let's talk later. Okay, so it looks like we're just gonna need to make the bed and let's go ahead and fill that up and create cool and slowly restores health until you leave the current area okay so 20 healing every 10 seconds that's cool it's good to know all right look i think this might be a good time to sort of leave it here this was really an introduction to the game first time playing the game myself um so apologies if i don't know um everything that sort of needs to be known about the early game but if you guys do know more than myself as i mentioned in, throughout the video definitely drop that in the comment section and let others know that uh that might be interested in playing the game what what did you think about this video let me know by hitting the like button and also again comment down below um, if you do want to see more from um uh, this game and this series uh let me know and make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell icon while you're doing that so you don't miss out on the next one and we'll take it from there but i appreciate you guys all well for that again it's been a while since i've done a new game so hopefully you guys have enjoyed it uh something different but i'm out of here i'll catch you on the next one and bye for now